Welcome to Biotrack Selling. Did you notice that we now have translated subtitle on les sous-titres en français et des autres langues? Just go to the bottom right of your screen, click the little wheel for settings, choose French, German, or Spanish, or auto-translate to the language of your choice. And if you're using this feature, please let us know in the comments below. In our last episode, we showed the last few days of our 4,000 mile passage across the Pacific Ocean from Panama to the Gambier Archipelago in French Polynesia. In those last few days, we had really large seas, very rough conditions, and squalls, so it was a relief to finally see land and arrive in the protection of the atoll. French Polynesia is an overseas territory of France located in the South Pacific between California and New Zealand. It stretches across 3,500 square kilometers and it consists of five archipelagos. Gambier Archipelago is not on the typical trade wind route that most cruisers take to sail to French Polynesia, and fewer than 40 boats visit per year. We arrived shortly after the loosening of COVID restrictions and the only boats in the harbor were cruisers that had waited out the pandemic in Gambier or local liveaboards. We anchored in the bay on the south side of Mangareva, near the only town in Gambier, Rikitia. We were four Outremer catamarans from the Grand Large Yarding Round the World World Odyssey Rally had traveled to Gambier together. Saga, Biotrek, Palm 3, and Impossible. Together, we spent a month exploring this beautiful area. The Gambier Lagoon is strikingly beautiful with turquoise water dotted with coral heads and oyster farms, and the islands rise up to display their lush green forests. Upon our arrival, we anchored in the bay in front of the main town. And the first order of business was to contact our vet in the United States because Tiller seemed to have developed a urinary infection. We have antibiotics on board, and according to veterinary instructions, she was treated with the right amount for a dog, and she recovered quickly. She a little water. <sighs> Heidi Town of Rikatia is lined with public buildings, well-kept homes, and beautiful gardens. There are numerous churches in the islands of Gambier, the largest being the cathedral in Rikitia. Gambier was the cradle of Catholicism in Polynesia. The first Catholic missionaries in Gambier quickly converted the inhabitants of course into building extravagant churches between 1840 and 1870. Since French Polynesia, the cruiser's dinghy is equivalent to the city person's car. We need it to go everywhere. The ferry to the airport and the once a week flight to Tahiti is the link to Tahiti in French Polynesia. We had family joining us in Gambier. We took advantage of the trip to the airport to spend some time in the beautiful moto just north of the airport. After anchoring, the first order of business is that Pierre checks the anchor. The other rally boats arrive to join us in this beautiful spot. And then Mia got the kite board out. We visited the motos and snorkeled in the reefs around the motos and tried out wing board. All around a fabulous time in this isolated area of Gambier. over here and then this morning we just motored by the airport went to inspect this little spot here which was very nice and then we decided to go try another one so we crossed the shallow reef here which worked out really well and then went up to one of the because since the wind is from the southeast one of one of these islands which is putting this <coughs> gives us the best protection from the waves.
You like it here, right? So we have three right beside us. Getting the toys out. And now Mia's going to try the kite with the foil. <laughs> Saga and Impossible also joined us in this beautiful anchorage. We're anchored near this beautiful reef. Maybe a little bit too close because when the wind shifted, our rudder just touched a coral head. Ah, with even such a small spot, out came the rudder and the repairs were done to put a bit of epoxy. Everybody joined in to put the rudder back, which required going underwater, putting some weights on the rudder, and lifting it up into the hole of the shaft. So, expedition back in. Are you going to go in the water? I'll go in the water. Will you go with the GoPro? Dominique uses scuba tube and locus free diving. Weights were used to hold down the carbon rudder that naturally floats and it was easily reinstalled. So the shaft comes up through this and this wiggle so it has to be held straight with a screwdriver so you don't get your hands pinched. Now Pierre has it all connected to the autopilot so it's a little hard to see but uh, yeah that's where the shaft comes up. We have the whole sky lighting up. beautiful full moon I've ever seen. Celebrate the full moon and a successful rudder install. There was a fire on the beach that evening. The next morning, a rainbow landed right on Impossible and Comfort. The snorkeling here was fabulous. It's perhaps the best reefs we've seen anywhere in all of French Polynesia. But with strong winds predicted to shift to the north, we decided to head back to the protected anchorage in front of Rikatia. Navigation here requires avoiding the fields of boys from the oyster farms. And in Rikatia, there are lots of things to do, such as visiting this small pearl operation by paddleboard. The king is also spectacular, even in the rain. Et pleu. Lush forest. Les garçons. The farms were interesting. And then we stopped at this little grocery slash hardware store to pick up a few supplies. Back at the ferry terminal where we'd left the dinghy, the local kids were having a fabulous time, diving in the water 
and throwing the non-stinging jellyfish at each other. Here are some views our family took during their hikes. Join us in the next episode for a visit to a pearl farm and as we sail off towards the Tuamotos. Please subscribe and give us a like. And we appreciate all comments. Leave your comments below and tell us what you'd like to see more of in these films.